So, Tommy. Hmm? Why are you um, turning the music down? Uh, because copyright. Uh, that's a good point. Where are we off to today? We are going to Gloucestershire yeah. to see the first viewing for me for the Renault 5 Turbo for the Tom vs Dale. I don't have particularly high hopes for this one. The problem with Renault 5 Turbos, you either buy a mint one for 10 grand upwards, or you buy one that's not so mint for not a lot of money. Hashtag project car. Ha hashtag Runs project and car. drives, doesn't really. Yeah. Yeah, runs and drives, but don't drive it. <laughs> uh, and the point of the Tom versus Dale is that rather than just buying a car that's done, is to get involved with the car that I'd want. It's a, I owned a Renault 5 as a second car, so that's what I wanted to do. And the plan is that I buy one that's either modified, yeah. max power, Ali G'd, and put it back to OG to put it back to stock. Okay. And then there's a little bit of me that wants it to be Ali G. Yeah, just a little bit. D -d 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 what's the song? What is the song? I have to Ali play. Ali. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dub it in. Jungle is massive. Yeah. Wick it, wick it. My jungle is massive. That's it. Don't touch me either. Okay. I mean, you can, but not on camera. No answer. No answer. Imagine if it was a wind-up. Oh. Imagine if it was a wind-up. What we if it was Dale fake-listing something? That would have been a good joke. We could fake-list stuff for Dale. Oh, no, that would <laughs> screw in his head so much. We um, so work for Maguire's and we, it's going to be a project car for us. Okay. So, the, um, that's why. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, do what you need to do, guys. How long have you had that you built it for your wife, did you say? Basically, we're going to have track cars each so we can race. Oh. <laughs> that was the plan. So, uh, but I've got a 1967 Fiat Dino Coupe. I sold my Ferrari and bought that. Oh, nice. So I'm restoring that now. So it's 25 grand just to do the interior on yeah. the Fiat. That's yeah. the reason. The toys have got to go now. We've also got two Peugeot 205 GTIs, which are the kids. Oh, nice. I gave this one a little clean out this morning. But this is it. How long have you... Oh, so this is the point. So Yeah, we... I've had this since 2016. And the plan was to do this. And I bought that one last year. Yeah. And. That one's just giving me loads of issues as well at the moment. Okay. So basically, we're doing a Tom versus Dale. So I'm okay, Tom, yeah, colleague yeah. Dale. <laughs> Maguire's are a car care company. Yep. We've got a couple of demo cars. So okay. next year, we're doing a, a Tom versus Dale thing. Yeah, yeah. So Dale was looking at an old Merc that he's going to modify. Yeah. And I had a Renault 5 Turbo. Yeah, yeah. Like my second <laughs> car. So I'm basically trying to find one that is not original. Yeah. To put original. Okay. Here's my. Good luck. Yeah, <laughs> this is my plan. If it's not, then it's anything, isn't it, really? But yeah, it's, it's all up for what someone wants it for. whether or not you don't have to make a decision now do you oh, no. Oh, no 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 i know i'm just processing in my yeah. brain jobs jobs, jobs i think the first thing to do is just strip it right out isn't it I, I, that's the easiest way of got, and then start yeah it's in better condition than i thought it would be from the pictures yeah So there's a couple that that I've seen online and granted it's only online that are in bits that look reasonably solid they're just in bits that worries me because it's this one worries me because it's got a lot of non turbo stuff on it I've, it's got like a non standard bumper non standard tailgate it's a no from me however yeah Naughty little contact to have because if so, you find a car that's not got an engine or just a rolling yeah. shell, you know, he's got some contact. What's good is he's a car guy. Yeah, like, mega so car guy. Even though I'm not so sure it's the right five, he's a car guy. Knows a lot about fives by the looks of yeah, things. Knows the Renault guy in Cheltenham. Knows some people. And the neighbour's got a Renault 5 turbo engine in the garden. 
Hmm. So not a total wasted journey. I don't think so at all. I think it's you've got to start seeing him. That's the thing. And that's it. We do have to come out and see him. Yeah. But it was. Oh well, I'm woods and up woods. Do you want some lunch? So oh, I like lunch. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. <laughs> what do you fancy? You. <laughs> Sorry. Um... <laughs> uh, what can I get here? I'm doing my Welsh accent I've been doing the whole time. Oh, carry on then. In it. <laughs> Where are we, Tom? Lowly in Newport, in it. What are we doing in Cardiff? We... Oh, I've missed the turning. <laughs> <laughs> we are here to see a Renault 5 that has, I'm hoping, from what I can see online and the pictures that I've been sent, dimmer kit, original wheels, could be a bit more enthusiastic about this one. I'm excited about this one. Can I just ask a small question? Yeah. Feel free to call me an idiot. Idiot. Um, what's a dimmer kit? Well, dimmer was a brand that basically it was an it was a modified version of five. So, and per they did Peugeot kits, they did French tuner basically. We are six minutes out. Are your fingers crossed? And my toes. Brilliant. And my toes, bud, isn't it? Let's, let's hope we see some sheep on the way. Good luck, isn't it? Where did you saw racist? What's supposed to exist? Brilliant. Well, good chat to you in there. See you later. Good day. Good day, sir. This has got to be it, right? This is where the postcode says. I mean, there's a little there's sack, a sack zone. There it is. <laughs> there it is. It's a flat pack one. And it's barking. <laughs> Look. <laughs> so we came to the wrong place, right? Uh, yeah. So the whole village has the same postcode. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> uh, he's two miles down the road. We've got to keep an eye out for the tanks. Tell if it's an original kit. It's got it, got it, got it on the boot, innit? to dimmer. That will be the question. <laughs> I've got a dimmer question. <laughs> cool car. Very cool car. Period correct. Feels right. Sat for a while. Needs some work. There's just a couple of things that are worrying me. Car was originally black so that's good. Looking at that, putting it back to... Mm. Putting it back, I'd like to go black. There was a receipt in the car for a starter motor from 2014. So, just doing an off chance check. I've rang the number, it didn't answer, so I'm just texting. <sighs> Guess what? We're we driving home now. <laughs> you got me for two and a half hours in the van on the way back. Um, all right, mate, I, I really appreciate you calling back as well. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah that's fine, mate. If you need any more help with all, I mean, just ring, you know what I mean? Appreciate it, thanks very much. Well, sorry, what was your name? It's Jason. Jason, my name's Tom. Yeah, sound there. Okay, buddy. Thanks very much. If you, do, if you do buy the car, I want to see a picture of it when it's done. Deal. Okay, then, buddy. Alright, mate. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. So, Detective Patches O'Houlihan... So, Patches O'Houlihan ...picked found. up a receipt of the guy that actually owned the car before. 
So the guy that we've been to see it bought it from the London Motor Museum, who had bought it from that guy. That guy had it, was gonna there was a folder full of receipts, dimmer receipts. So it's a dim, it it's is a, a dimmer, dimmer kit. kit. This all of a sudden got very exciting. I've got a little thing in my trousers. Well we know that. What are you gonna do? Oh, oh god, you imagine. That's if that's a real dimmer car, oh, Jesus, like that's where. Yeah. Bring it back! Okay, I'm gonna bring it back. Okay. Oh.